What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Neek and Dwayne get frisky on IG Live. Queen Naja getting impatient with Clarence. Carmen spotted. Let's get it. There's been a lot of talk behind this whole situation with Queen and Clarence being together for six years and not being married. Well, Queen recently spoke out and stated that she's not in a rush to get married, but fans noticed at her recent performance in Philly, she actually skipped out on the part of her song that stated, I want to have your last name, no matter how long it takes. Now, Queen <laughs> being ultra shady to the nigga. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know if she's trying to be petty on purpose or she really do feel some type of way. It's giving trolling. I'm not even gonna lie. It's giving trolling at this point. Because that was so obvious. So on a podcast with Bootleg Kev, where she stated she's not in a rush to get married, but she would like to get proposed to. Yeah, it ain't it ain't no rush. But it's not a rush for marriage, but it is like a little rush for like the ring. The ring. Because yeah. it's like, okay, at least if you propose, then we know where we headed. We've had conversations about it. Like, right. I know that he's going to, but it's like, okay. Six years? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, sometimes men, they want to get certain things out the way. Like, he wants to put out his clothing line. Mm. So it appears that Queen is now at the point that he she. got shit he got to do. I, I would stop rushing that man. I would. I really would. I really would. Um, and hell, if she feel as though she doing these wifely duties and, and um, he not proposing fast enough or whatever the fuck, stop doing the wifely do. I mean, if that's the case. But I feel like that's what gets you the ring, y'all. I feel like that's what gets you the ring. Um, however, I, I, I don't feel like it's that fucking deep. I don't feel like it's that deep. Marriage don't do nothing but... Have you spent more money and involved the law? Outside of that, God forbid something happened to you, whenever it happened to you, uh, you get the money. I mean, that's really what marriage is about, y'all. I would not keep rushing him. That would turn me the fuck off, is what it would do. Um, I would be completely turned off. Do not try and keep getting me to rush to do some shit. You taking away from what we got right now, you know what I'm saying, what, what, what we're building right now. Uh, so to speak. I don't know why Clarence hasn't dropped that goddamn clothing line. Um, <clears throat> the nigga pro promote everybody else shit. I'm not going to lie. Everything Clarence promote, I buy it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Everything that nigga get for the most part, I buy it. Okay? He's like a... Um, when it comes to fashion and things like that, it's, it, he's inspirational, y'all. You get it from somewhere. So everybody stop acting like, oh, you copying or whatever. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. If the nigga get better shoes, I want to try them shoes, okay? Even his drip to run is dope. I, the, did you see his running shoes? I said, what the fuck? Let me go get these damn running shoes. <laughs> them running shoes is everything. I ain't got them yet. I got to go get them. But baby, when I seen them running shoes, I was like, oh, I'm getting them. I don't care. I don't call me what you want. But um, let me tell you something. Your props for they do though. Uh, the nigga is inspirational is where I'm trying to get to with the fashion, right? So normally when fashion niggas respect fashion niggas, they, they get it. They get it. You know? So I'm just trying to figure out why he won't put out his clothes. Everybody gonna buy him. I don't understand. I don't understand what we're doing. Do you run? I'm about to start running. I just brought my treadmill last night. It ain't going to be here till the 20th. Uh, maybe a little after the 20th. But yes, I'm about to start running. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and start there. I like to work, right? I like to be at my computer and work. So I'm getting me a treadmill so I can run while I'm working. Okay? Because ultimately, this weight got to go. It got to go. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. 
That's why I'm getting the running shoes. And to be honest, the older I get, I want to do older I get shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> when you get older, it's certain things that you start to, like, look at, like, I want to do that. And not only that, y'all, I don't know if y'all any of y'all raising children, but, girl, the older you see these children are getting, the more you realize, damn, I'm getting older, too. And you know, like, oh, shit, I kind of need to be here a little longer. Right? So that's another thing. That's number two. Number three, every time I go to the computer store, right, The uh, it's older men that come in there to get their computers fixed and stuff like that. For those that don't know, I'm a complete nerd at this point. The older I've gotten, the more I've realized I'm a fucking nerd, right? Baby, they be walking in there with walkers, with um, wheelchairs, if they're rolling in there, okay? Um, and they can barely walk. And it's always at the computer stores, which means when you sitting here at this damn computer, I know I'm not up breaking my back, but I'm sitting having my back sit still, right? So then it fucks up your mobility, right? So at, at, at a certain point, you ain't going to be able to move like that. You see what I'm saying? So now I started, I got me a damn computer a table that I can stand the fuck up, okay? So we starting there, right? I need to be able to stand up. I need to... <laughs> okay? So I got me the stand-up table. All right, these are things that I'm working on with myself for those that want to know, right? Because I can't be out here immobile. And I want y'all to know, these kids that's coming up, they like to whoop old people's asses. Times are not the same, all right? These kids like to whoop your ass. You not whooping my ass. You understand me? These motherfucking kids not about to whoop my ass. So, I see 80-year-olds out here like these, these days. It's 80-year-olds out here like these. So, I'd rather be the 80-year-old like this than the 80-year-old like this. You get what I'm saying? And the older you get, that's the shit you realize. So, this is why Clarence is running. Clarence done turned 30. He like, oh, I need to do 30-year-old shit. Right? I do too. I need to, I'm, I'm, bitch, I'm 35. I'm, I'm, I need to be doing 40 year old shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm about to be running. Yeah. So, Clarence promoted some Nike shoes. This is where we are. Clarence promoted some damn Nike shoes. And baby, them shoes are sexy as hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to show y'all the shoes. I was like, I'm talking about, I took a picture of them and I was like, Okay, I got to I got to find a shoe. So I know this video done turned into something else, but uh, you skip it if you don't want to watch it. And I'm talking to the people that's watching the video that's not in the live stream. So, Nike Invincible 3. You got to be into shit. Oh, I got to get it because they about to be out of my size. And these ain't even the ones. I think it's these. Look at this shoe. So, as y'all can see, I don't know if y'all should be able to see. I said I'm at my job. Girl, give me a discount. I'm already getting like a little 20% discount. But with the check on the side, you got the check in the front. You know, look at the details on the shoe. Oh, baby, this is a nice running shoe. I'm getting them. <laughs> getting them. And they look comfortable as hell. And the ones he always wear is these. And I'm not getting these. Now, don't get me wrong. He got the black ones, too, but I'm not getting these. So if, it's, if I see something you got and I like it, I'm buying it. It's the, the end. So 
So all I'm trying to say is Clarence should absolutely put out his brand because if I like it, I'm going to buy it. And if y'all like it, y'all going to buy it. Yes. Well, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what I got to say about that. He may be getting a little impatient, but you guys leave your opinions on Definitely that down below. Impatient. Let's move on to this next topic with Carmen and her alleged new boo, Big Boogie. Now, if you guys didn't know, people spotted Big Boogie's real name, John, tatted on Carmen's wrist. And then she was recently spotted walking out with him for his recent concert performance. So good to see things going Fair. well for Carmen. She appears to be happy with Mr. Big Boogie. But let's move on to this next topic with Neek and Dwayne <laughs> because they were recently on Instagram live together spilling a lot of tea now someone asked them the question how they felt about Carmen how do y'all feel about Carmen I think Carmen cool <laughs> she got some friends I don't fuck with I'll Dang. tell y'all that in my next podcast man bye <laughs> he just go to tea I got all this, this old footage. That way I know Young so now I would really like to know which one of Neek's friends does Dwayne not really like to. Wow, Royalty, you feel that only have you spent more money and involved the law. That is not what God intends for you. Marriage to be. I've been married for 34 years. We have our ups and downs. Hold on. We have up and down. Okay, you didn't finish it. So, your relationship with uh, Sky Daddy, like, uh, what you call it? Say, I can't think of her name. Shop ATF, whatever her name is. Your relationship with Sky Daddy is your relationship with Sky Daddy. And that's okay, right? Um, everybody has a different opinion about the relationship with Sky Daddy and what it does with the marriage part of it. So clearly, God is great. Love Sky Daddy. We do our thing with Sky Daddy. Me and Sky Daddy cool as hell. However, outside of Sky Daddy, marriage is about a business. Marriage is business. Okay? Marriage is a business. Never forget marriage is a business. Okay? Period. If it had everything to do with Sky Daddy, we wouldn't be having to sign papers. All right? We wouldn't be having to sign our names over to certain shit. Sky Daddy is amazing. But marriage is a business. Marriage involves family. Marriage involves contracts. Marriage involves lawyers. Marriage involves fees. Okay? Okay? You and your relationship with Sky Daddy, cool. And the marriage part, cool. That's whatever percentage you would like it to be. But the business side of it, it's a little more, friend. I just want you to know that's just reality of things. Okay. Too much. You guys leave your opinions down below on who you think that might be. Now, in a previous video, I also spoke on how Dwayne Here's actually our. did buy all of Kaiser's school supplies and people were getting on King because he wasn't present. Well, Neek just sent praise to Dwayne for doing that. She stated that Dwayne treats Kaiser like he's his own. What's your, what's your favorite quality about me? Um... She gonna lie and say some bullshit. <laughs> no, I'm not. Go ahead. You're a good dad. And you love Kaiser a lot. And you treat him like y'all. And it's cute to watch. Motherfucker be reading the comments and then try to tell me that's my favorite. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, they continued their live and things got a little bit frisky between the two. Dwayne even stayed in some things that go down in the bedroom. Oh. She dick is. I be having a field day back there. Oh Damn. My God. Every time I'm back there, 
You know what my favorite thing when she say to me? <laughs> what's your favorite thing? What's, what do you think my favorite thing is when we when we doing the nasty that you say to me? Um. What? Say it. Stay inside. What you say? Tell them what you say. Tell them what you say. What you say? I don't know. Tell them what you say. <laughs> tell them what you say. <laughs> what you say. <laughs> I don't say nothing. What you say? Man, bye. She just said stay inside. What you say? Fuck. Aaron. <laughs> Fuck, Aaron. <laughs> Y'all know I'm that dude. What you be saying? Fuck, Aaron. I be, uh, bro, shit well, so good, I done made before. her cry before. I know you're not sitting there moaning on the side. He uh, definitely just moaned. You said, uh, Man, Definitely like just moaned. Mom. You moaned. That nigga said, eh. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to act like we ain't hear that shit. <laughs> Somebody said, she she said, said it though. She said, stay inside. Stay inside. <laughs> stay inside. Yeah, you know, at first she ain't want no jit, but you know what I mean? Now she been stressing, stay inside. So, <laughs> I don't know what it is. We might be having a little, but, but the only thing. put that He can. But the only thing is, y'all. I want a little boy. Oh, I want shit. another, like, but she want a little girl, so I think that's where the disconnect that. Uh oh, hell. Y'all ain't need y'all decision. Y'all won't figure that out. So, I just think our daughter gonna be. A fucking beast in the paint. No, she ain't getting in the paint. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ain't the reason. Okay. I thought oh, yeah, gonna be tall. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way she. She's she definitely paint. gonna be tall. Right. Tall. Be tall be. too. Yeah. So, I, I think I, I, I would love like the Angel Reese. Crazy big, but like. She ain't gonna be no super tall boy. She gonna be. She's pretty tall. We gonna have a wedding. gonna be tall. Please play. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. Just give me my money. It's too late. Everybody know about it now, so it's like not really nobody we could do. It's it. That's just it's gonna make sense. Bro, I'm I'm just I'm just talking. Y'all just y'all take everything the wrong way. They told some Dwayne, and that's too much. <laughs> I don't never say nothing for real. And you get on that and say a whole lot, a whole lot. Of and guess what? I do not give a fuck. Right. That lady gonna have a field day with this. Child, we knew y'all was having some good sex. Oh, come on now. Ain't no way. It ain't no way they wouldn't. <laughs> Going down. Now, if he get out here talking about he don't eat no booty, he don't eat no corn, that's when it get debatable for y'all niggas. Like, niggas be like, yeah, yeah, I'll be back there tearing the thing up. You know, she agree. I'll be like, okay, okay, they doing it. <laughs> they having grown up sex. They doing it for real. And then they be like, I don't eat no coochie, though. I be like, <laughs> I ain't looking no ass. What are we not doing that for? Oh, what are we? <laughs> then what are we doing? Just hitting it from the back. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle said, y'all gonna have a six, seven slash of shit. Me, Nick is not pregnant. We gonna have a six, seven point guard. My son. And we already got names. What's the names? I can tell them. Uh, good, man. Nah, this, this is my little shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do me something. That's what they say in Louisiana. Do me something. Where did you get that from? Do me something. You. I ain't never said that before. Do me something. I ain't never said that before. Babe, yeah, your mama say that all the time. What mama say Do that? me something. Like you gonna do me something, yo mama? I done oh, heard you. Oh, yeah. Now you so you gonna lie? But you said <laughs> do me something. Like, yeah, I ain't put the like you gonna do me something on there, but I done heard your mama say that. Oh, I'm like, are we gonna keep going with this? All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Now I know I spoke for um 20 minutes on <laughs> on dripping and uh you know growing up and things like that, which is very responsible. Um, at some point, though, y'all, on a serious note, black people, we got to take this health seriously. Real bad. Or if you cool with getting up out of here early, that's fine. Shit, I, that's just, if that's what you want to do, hey, you do what it is that you need to do. But uh, for those that want to stay a little longer, it's time for you to start running.
And I know them titties be hurting when they get to bouncing up and down while you're running. Get you a little walking pad in the house. Walk. What I want to do, I like to train myself to do things, right? So if I know I'm not, I'm not about to go here, out here and run a mile, probably have a heart attack, right? So I got to start off slow. I got to build up my, my stamina and, you know, get my endurance together. And then to the point where I can run. And then y'all going to see me, I'm going to be 180 pounds. Because I ain't going no less than that. 180 pounds. With all muscle, six pack, no titties, and just, you know, all that going on. It's going to happen. All right? So, uh, somebody asked me, um, Nick, you don't run around the complex. I have a house now, friend. And, yes. Uh, but, once again, I, I be at work. When I'm at work, I need to work. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the nature of my job. I need to work. And, um, sometimes when I'm outside... Sometimes you need to be in the house. So I need to lose my weight while I'm working. So I'm just letting y'all know we probably going to make it a thing on YouTube. Definitely going to make it a thing. So y'all enjoy it. But I love y'all. Bye.